Carly, we're starting today's YouTube video like we haven't before. What are we cooking here in the uh, the race trailer? Quesadillas. Cooking some quesadillas. So tonight we are competing at the Roseburg Indoor in Roseburg, Oregon. Welcome back to today's YouTube video. Thank you for hanging out with us here today. So because of all the rules and regulations in the state of Oregon, Roseburg has to be very strict about how they run their program. They're still able to race, thankfully, so we're just happy to be here. But they had to run today in three different sessions. So all the younger kids ran at 12 o'clock. They ran their heats, their A-main events. Then the 250s and one other class uh, ran about 3.30. And then now the Opens are getting ready to run their show, so it actually should be much quicker because we just have the open class and the fart carts. So Carly's just cooking up a quick snack for us. We didn't even have to leave our house in Southern Oregon till about like three o'clock, 2.30, just cause it's a quick one hour drive up here. And even if we would have gotten here earlier, we just have to stay at our trailer because uh, just everything that's going on. So Carly, thanks for cooking us some quick quesadillas. We're gonna get right into tonight, starting with hot laps. Like I said, it's gonna be a pretty quick show, but we have a great car count. I believe 28 opens here in the pit area. Just getting our GoPro mount all ready for uh, the heat race. We're in heat race number four, rolling off uh, from the third row inside. So we gotta pass some people, but fortunate enough, the track's already pretty slick since they've been racing all day long. If you guys are unfamiliar with Outlaw carts, these are factory QRC chassis. Uh, they got CR500s or um, 454 strokes on the side of them, so those run together. And like I said, we got 25 carts in the pit area. So tonight, we'll probably be going maybe 30 to 40 miles an hour. These smaller tracks, we don't get up to high speeds, but this place, especially Roseburg, you'll notice it's uh, pretty fast. So should be fun. Carly's out there right now. I'm gonna finish getting this on and be uh, headed in, in the car to head out for heat one. Bennett, what'd you think of our heat race? Uh, 
You know, I set you up tight, uh, probably a little too tight on my part, but uh, you managed to salvage it and come back to a second. So we're gonna get you dialed in perfect here to win this next heat. Heck yeah, so we start front row outside now. Brian Hubert, he was in our heat race, a friend of mine. He was throwing absolute haymakers. Uh, door to door, he cleared them all. They're just, it's so fast here at Roseburg. It's hard to make moves. And I just should have been a little bit more aggressive early on, but I was so tight. We made an adjustment that made me so tight. I couldn't run anywhere but the middle. Otherwise I was just plowing like a dump truck. So we really need to win this next heat race, but keep up the consistent speed. Once we got into second behind that leader, I think we were arguably faster. It's just hard to make up ground here. So track's already pretty slick, a little bit rough, and we're gonna be heading out for heat race number two since it's a quick program, but starting front row outside, like I said, we need to win. We're gonna loosen the car up a little bit, and if we can do that, we'll be in a great spot for tonight's A main event since it's a two heat race format. We're down here entering turns one and two and the racetrack's actually quite rough and that created a whole new line there for those heat races. Got out front, was able to lead all laps, but we're still missing something. Uh, our car's really, really quick, but we just need to be a little bit better. So what these ruts have created entering turns one and two is everyone's running a little bit lower and that actually seems to be faster, but also part of the issue is uh, it gets slicker, throws marbles up top, and then we can't even run higher anyway. So the racing line has been much lower, much narrower, and uh, hopefully for the feature, it widens out a little bit. Racetrack's really really slick though actually reminds me a little bit of like the Red Bluff Outlaws usually this place has a lot of grip and is really racy and it is tonight just a little bit different track condition so we're gonna get into the A main event rolling off from the front row outside and now for the feature starting on the front row uh, one of the big things we just experienced was trying to figure out what to do for tires uh, the tracks much different and I think we're gonna kind of throw the kitchen sink at it and that's what we ended up doing change a bunch of things around uh, hoping to just get some more drive and more speed to the corner and with the biggest thing, we don't run the 18T a lot, the Holmes family car. We usually run for factory QRC, and we only come to Roseburg and run this car a little bit. So we didn't have a lot of tires. We just kind of had what you had and um, figured out. So sometimes, you know, trying to get the right amount of stagger, trying to get the right tires on is tough, and you don't got a great option. So we're gonna try something. We might be pretty tight, but we're gonna be able to drive it much harder. So go out there, give it all we got. Obviously, we wanna win, but let's just try to keep this thing in one piece and have a lot of fun and contend um, for the victory.
because you guys were push starting it. I mean, you guys probably went up and down 20 times. Something's, something's so, definitely... And all that water probably wasn't good for it. Well, either, no, so. it, 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 it's, uh, it's not that. The combination it's, of everything that we've done, but just the clutch. I bet something's... if Steve pulls the clutch apart, it's probably, the clutch is gone. Something's really wrong, that's it. That's all I know, it's just, it, it's just, it's flat. <laughs> I mean, if it's flat, if it runs, like it didn't, to it, me it sounded good. It didn't feel like it ran really all night. Like, it's hard to say, you know, because we go back and forth so much from two stroke and we do this, but like, I don't know. I just I didn't have I didn't have the straightaway speed I needed. I just and then therefore it hurts the corners and it does it changes the whole car dynamic because I couldn't get it. It just it would rotate sometimes. Sometimes it wouldn't. Like the cold car just handles differently. So anyway, guys, uh, pretty frustrating. A I just I felt like I didn't really even have a chance. I, I don't know. I got a decent star. I was right there with Hubert. Congrats to him. He won the race. He did everything right. Ran a good race through traffic. Didn't make a lot of mistakes. But uh, we just we didn't have the speed all night, really. And even last time when we were here until the eight, we didn't really have the speed. And when Carly was out front last time, we couldn't catch her. And tonight, when we were in second, we just didn't really have anything. So um, Carly got a good restart. The only mistake is I should have started on the bottom. I thought I could have maybe still kept getting good enough of a, a start. But then, um, I, I don't know, Carly kind of gassed it up and didn't give me a lot of room. So I crossed. And, and then I just was going to go to the bottom and try to keep racing. And, and she spun out in front of me. So I don't know if she got hooked or spun. But that, that didn't help our situation either and just totally uh, messed up our front end. So frustrating i thought we were gonna have a chance at winning that one but um we're gonna have to take the engine off and, and and figure something out to get our program better so we didn't have the best program tonight therefore we didn't win real quickly want to give a huge shout out to the roseburg staff and everyone here at the roseburg indoor it was awesome considering the circumstances we had tonight that we were still able to race like i was saying i just felt like our stuff was flat something's wrong uh forefront racing engines they build a great package and like my dad was kind of mentioning we probably just went a few too many races with it it went out on the backyard track it got soaked in mud there just a lot of things and then with what had what happened last time where we had to push start it a bunch the four strokes aren't meant to be push started so just there's a bunch of factors that we're kind of realizing on why it probably isn't running properly and something is definitely wrong but as usual want to give a huge shout out to factory qrc the family for coming up i know our results sucked running fourth um if we come here and we don't win the race it's disappointing but there was some fast guys tonight and we just um we weren't where we needed to be and that's just part of racing you win some you lose some and your losses make your program and yourself better so thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll get them in the next one so first race of 2021 not starting off on the right foot necessarily but we have some exciting news some stuff coming um here in the next couple of weeks that I think are going to put a smile on a lot of your guys' faces. So stay tuned. See you guys all in the next one. I want to thank uh, Bennett, my dad, everyone for the help. Bennett's helping right here. Yeah, Look at that. Um, you know, you say the motor's laying down. I don't know as a crew chief I did the best, but no, uh, hey, we hey, did no, it all. Bennett, Bennett killed it tonight. I think our setup was really, really good. It's just when the motor's not running properly, you don't have the right horsepower, it changes the whole dynamic. It doesn't matter how much you chase setup. Uh, it's going to do something different to the car that it's not supposed to, if that makes sense. So thanks, Bennett. Thanks, my dad. Everyone worked hard tonight. We'll get him next time. See you all in the next video. Deuces.